is an overview of Mesa Verde, looking down at it, of the Cliff Palace. So if I zoom out here, we can see there is an actual cliff mountain on the top area. And then the uh, Anasazi built the their little dwellings down underneath this cliff. And then down on the bottom, so if we come here, down on the bottom we have the river, or what used to be the river, most likely. Here we got a different view. Same thing, looking down at the cliff dwellings, and you can see the little people that look like ants. Crawling around. So you can imagine what the Anasazi people look like down there. Main reason they built it down here is to protect themselves from enemies. Because people would be walking up there along the top and hopefully not even see them. Excellent. It's a good oh, woman. She's good. good woman. Good woman. <laughs> Here we are walking along the walls. And if you look up, you can see the buildings. There's these little pathways that everybody had to take back then, so we're literally walking where they walked. Where the Anasazi walked over 2,000 years ago or 1,000 years ago. See the wood sticking out. Door. This one has a screen window. Yeah. So she told us, the ranger told us that this would actually be covered, these holes. Well, they would actually have a roof on them, yeah. log roof, and they're used like a, like a sweat lodge. So they'd all sit in there, they'd build a fire in that ring. That hole right there was the air hole that would allow fresh oxygen, oxygen to come in and allow them to, the fire to remain on or burning and them to breathe. So here's a little inside view, holes going up. Right. Here we're walking around a little bit more. There's the hole where the oxygen would come through or the air to the pit house. A little built in. See the spiritual hole in this one? Which one's that? Oh, the spiritual hole where the. Right there, that little hole. It's where the spirits would come out, their ancestors' spirits. So they were very religious people. So there's cracks right there. This is sandstone, so water will come in will seep into the sand and then when it freezes it, it expands in the ice and then cracks the, the sand. Cracks the stone over time. Yeah, there you go. We'll spin around and give you a downward view out of it. So they had There's where we are right here. Overlooking it. So here's an example of one of the hand holes before these nice steps were made, of course. I doubt they had these really cool steps, so they'd grab their Grab these. Yeah, I guess if you had to defend your home, this would be pretty cool. Where'd you say those hand holes were? Oh, right here. Right there by your side. Some There's some more hand holes. One, two, three, four, five, and then I guess they just climb right up out of this. One thing I failed to mention is there was, in Mesa Verde, there's five water springs. So there's water that seeps there's out of these rocks, so they don't right have here. to uh, oh, the the go down all the way to the river. Here's some hand holds. Okay. Put your hand in that, Ann. Hand hole. So we're now at Balcony House. This is an example of how they got their water. It would seep out underneath these rocks in the little tiny pools like this. Probably bigger back then, but... And they just come and scoop out water with gourds or spoons or whatever. And here's an example of the, of the ladder you have to climb in order to get up here. 
With the house at the top, you can see it up there. See, this is a hole, and then this was a little ledge right here they would climb out on. Not very sturdy, but then again, they were only five feet tall and maybe weighed 100 pounds. So, here's a little uh, ladder we had to climb down or climb up. I'm sorry to get up here. And it opens up to this this whole area, and then here's a overlooking view. So you see how high up we are. So it's literally on a cliff. So here's our little room. Whoa, it's dark. Oh, yeah. Sorry, man. You're fine. Keep going. Oh, this is neat. Oh, yeah. Look at Opens up into a cavern. Oh, there's some water things. Huh? Oh, yeah. Cool. So the rangers showed us how this, they actually screwed up on this, in this uh, kiva. Right here, there's two different looking holes. You're only supposed to have one. They originally started building the sh shaft right there because it's facing towards the south like all of them, but there's no air induction, there's no wind, so they had to build it to the east right there where that guy's foot is. And then they put a little wall in front right there so the wind coming down, or wind coming in wouldn't blow the fire out. That's what that wall is. So we're walking out on a little ledge. You can see my feet. Skinny it is down there. That was a um, so they would put this, this rock would be moved and then smash dry corn against it and turn it into powder. But he said, uh, the ranger said, when these rocks, when you're smashing them together, you actually get sand dust in your food. So it causes you to get cavities and die sooner. Get one last view. There's a ladder you have to climb up. You move over here. Okay, here we go. We're climbing through. I'm low crawling. Oh man, that's freaking tight. <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying to film this right here. It's just stone, so it's not like you're. Come on in. My freaking, my hips were right up against that, man. That's tight. Too tight for comfort. And then here, once you come out of the tunnel, you gotta crawl up this ladder. And there's another one up there. There's some footholds, my mom. Crawling up them. <laughs> Slowly but surely. There you go. Man, those are steep. And I'm doing it with one hand. That's smart. I don't want to look out.